before I go into detail on any particular topic, I do want to share a few more things to give you an overall idea of what we're dealing with. For one, Phil's aware that things he says on his Instagram lives aren't acceptable. I can't have a podcast. I would be canceled. I have to go live. I have to delete them immediately. It's the only way it works. This next clip, I believe, is from early 2022. The context of the clip is him discussing pandemic issues, the Canadian government's response, and how he'd act towards other people. However you feel about his initial opinions, that isn't the point. Take note of where the whole messy train of thought ends up. That's what this is, a fucking power grab. They will never give you back your freedom so long as you fucking give it back, so long as you don't fight for them back. I'm here to fight. I'm here to fight. I'm a fighter. I'm gonna fight. If you're not, and you find this this language dangerous, you find this da- this threatening, then go back into your safe little quarantine, okay? And then maybe some brave person will deliver food to you. Maybe some brave person will deliver your fucking mail to you. Maybe some brave person will risk teaching your fucking kids. But please, by all means, pad your fucking room, wrap yourself in cottonelle, and fucking quarantine your sorry ass somewhere where I don't have to fucking see it. Because if I see it, I'm booting you like a fucking beach ball. I'm booting you like a fucking beach ball. You soft motherfucker. You soft people with the overinflated fucking egos. You need a boot to your fucking, to your beach ball. And that's how we fucking fix you. Get out of my world. You don't like it. Get out of my fucking world. Or stand directly in the way of it. But don't fucking play, don't play nice sometimes and sneakily play bad after other times. No, we ain't here for that. We ain't here for that. You can't censor me. You can't censor me. You can't censor Joe. You're not gonna censor. Uh, you're not gonna censor anybody. You're not gonna censor anybody. Do yourself a favor. Get so fucking woke that you cancel yourself. Because the best thing you could do these days, tuck your fucking tail and fucking run. We're coming for you. You're not safe. Your ideas are dangerous, and now I want them. Now I want them. I never wanted them before. Now I fucking want them. And I don't think I have to say anything for this. But, Jamon, the fuck have you accomplished in life, bruh? Your diet ain't saving the world, ain't saving you, you dumb fuck. You could use to take a little bit of fucking uh, protein in that brain of yours. So fix yourself. You want to check yourself, too, before you wreck yourself, or rather, I wreck you. Just saying. Now, it's important to know that I came into this whole issue roughly via Phil's incessant claims that Kiska was bashing her head against the glass. That alone is its own topic. I made a whole YouTube video about the details of the situation as it regarded Kiska. He took any and all disagreements as some kind of personal affront. And so these people come in. They purport to care the most about Kiska. But it's all about she's not banging her head against the wall. She's not. I mean, look, you can see she's not. She's not banging her head against the wall. I... My expertise is such that, based on my observations, and because I have uh, a lot of certificates, uh, I I think I don't think her head is striking the wall. No, no, no. She's suffering. I know, but uh, her head is uh, not striking the wall. What's interesting to note, though, is that Phil's problem with any discussion of that issue, besides some of it going against his narrative, seems to be that he wasn't brought into it. Here's a question for you. If people are writing blogs about Kiska's behavior, how come they haven't invited me to offer my two cents? (laughs) (coughs) Seriously. Uh, Seriously, I want you to think about this. How come I'm not being invited to offer a perspective in these blogs? They're my videos. And as you'll soon see, for any issue seemingly, what he means by brought in is allowed to control. He's obsessed with controlling the narrative, having the mic. Now, here's a clip he recorded on his own phone of him harassing a protester at Marineland because they'd apparently said something negative about him or disagreed with him online. Did you say fuck Phil on any social media post? Wonderful. No, 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 never. Did you? Have you? Um, I think it's a special for sure. Okay. But, but, 
Okay, I'm glad you're here too. Because behind the line, behind online, you're real fucking. You got a mouth. You got a thing to say about me. You got opinions of me. Let me ask you something. Is that a net positive for fucking animals, or would you agree that sensibly, perhaps working together, would be a, a, a more agreeable and more positive for the animals? Is that your sense today? Would you maybe want to delete that fucking post? Thanks for being here. He himself posted this clip on his Twitter and deleted it soon after. We'll find that something of a trend in monitoring his Twitter feed since late 2021 out of a total of 604 recorded tweets, 298 of them, just shy of half, were deleted. These deletions range from apparent indecisiveness to threats to things his lawyer probably told him to take down. We'll take a stroll through some of those later. But to wrap the things up here, I'll just let Phil speak for himself regarding the trips to Miami he's funding. 26 November, be there, smooshy.com to donate. Yeah, you can help me. You can help me. I'm already, I'm behind by 500 bones. I just had to book a flight. I mean, yes, I'll be there partying too, but I'm there to do the work. I have to book a flight and a rather a helicopter and some other shit. My God. Er, my God, but come to Miami. Come to Miami. We're doing partying. We're doing advocacying. We're doing beaching. We're doing shark diving. We're doing, um, Probably bike riding, a kayaking, the streets, sing, drinking, drugging, clubbing, Moscow muling. Bring your cash rewards visa, everybody. Guys, bring your cash reward, rewards visa because the way we operate is we do rounds. I got this one. <laughs> I got this one, but that's okay because you got the next one. 